Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm so happy you're joining us today. Now, before we get started, I wanted to remind you that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help give by visiting our sponsors, giving us a thumbs up, or subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate your support. We have loads more videos about meaningful locations around the world, great travel hacks, and useful travel gear like what we're gonna talk about today. All right, so let's cue the music. The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. You probably know that I really love to travel, but I also like to partake in a lot of outdoor activities like running, cycling, and hiking. And while I'm outside, gosh, I really hate to squint and I can't stand the wind in my eyes. So of course my biggest solution are to wear sunglasses. And one of my favorite brands to wear, and you probably have heard me say this on some of my other videos, are Gooder sunglasses. I always wear sunglasses and I've tried so many different brands and so many different styles and I keep coming back to one particular pair of sunglasses. That's Gooder's Bosley's Basset Hound Dreams. Gooder has a pretty big selection of sports appropriate sunglasses and they have all kinds of frames, colors, lens colors, different styles that are appropriate for men or women, and they are all very, very comfortable with a lot of the same features. Now, you don't really have to go with my particular favorite, the Basset Hound Dreams, but I'm gonna tell you why I like these, and a lot of the features are present across all of the pairs of Gooder sunglasses that you may find. Now the Gooder brand has quite a following. They have, for example, on Instagram over 150,000 followers. And on Instagram, you may find them demonstrating their glasses, doing anything from skiing on snowy hills to just taking a casual bike ride. The Gooder brand has twice been awarded Runner's World Gear of the Year. They are a PGA Buyer's Choice item and they are Inc. Magazine's one of the best places to work. Maybe you've seen them in other magazines like GQ, Men's Health, Glamour, and they're featured in there regularly. And I am never surprised when I am out and about traveling or just locally seeing people with Gooder glasses and it just gives me a smile. The Gooder brand began in 2015 when its founder, Stephen Lease, decided that what he was wearing when he was out jogging just wasn't very attractive. And he decided to make something that was functional, but looked good. And so he paired up with a couple of his friends and the rest is history. They had humble beginnings where they were shipping lenses just from one of their apartments. And it's really turned into a worldwide operation with over 1500 stores opened worldwide. With that in mind, the Gooder brand focuses on quality, affordable prices, and lightweight gear for you to enjoy when you're out hitting the road like for running. The brand has stayed true to its mission of selling functional, fun eyewear, and with a price tag of around $25 at the time that I'm recording this, that'll definitely put a smile on your face. All right, now that you know a little bit more about the brand, let's go over some of the specifics of my favorite pair of glasses and why I like them so much. Let's keep the gooder times rolling and we'll get on with this review. I'm gonna take a look today at the pros and cons of gooder sunglasses through my analytical lens and let's see what we get. Now first, you already heard me say that the price of these is perfect. At around $25 for this particular pair of glasses, I feel that I could bang these up a little bit if I'm out running or traveling. And even if I lose them, I'm really not out a lot of money like you might be for some designer sunglasses. Once I was in Rome and I was at the Castle San Angelo, please don't, um, 
Don't hurt me over my pronunciation of that. But I was up at the top enjoying a nice view of the Vatican, and I had a great pair of Judith Lieber uh, crystal glasses with me. They're great glasses, some of my favorites to travel with. And when I got up from having my coffee, my glasses were gone. And I was sitting with some um, other tourists that I had met, and I had a feeling that somehow my glasses ended up with them. So I ran around uh, the entire castle, which if you've been there, you know there's a lot of up and down ramps to visit that and look at it pretty closely. And I was on the top. I went everywhere looking for the other couple that I was having coffee with. And after about probably 30 minutes of running around, I found my glasses. Now, I would have been really upset if I lost my Judith Lieber glasses because they were around $300 for that pair and I actually still have them. Um, but needless to say, it's nice to travel with some things that really don't cost quite as much because if you do happen to lose them or damage them, it's certainly, while it may be upsetting to you then, it's certainly uh, you're not out as much money. And thank God I run a lot because that day would not have worked very well if I wasn't in shape. How about some practical things besides the fact that they really look great on me? Um, they have a one-year warranty and I have had some issues and this is probably one of the cons about Gooder glasses. I have had some issues where I had warp lenses or they got bent in an overhead bin and I had to send the glasses back and they actually were replaced by Gooder under their one-year warranty. So that's really reassuring to me when I buy something. Along those lines, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you happen to get your pair of glasses and you don't like how they look when you first put them on or they feel like uh, they don't fit you very well, you can send them back right away and get your money back. For our eco-conscious followers, these are 100% carbon neutral as well. I mentioned earlier that there are unisex styles uh, that can be worn by men and women. Some of the lenses are bigger than others and you can certainly find something that's going to work for your size face. One of the focuses of the Gooder brand is to have good fitting glasses. And I have to say the first time that I tried Gooder was probably in 2016 at a marathon expo and I was really happy with the way they fit. When you put these on, they are extremely lightweight. You can barely feel that these are on your face and that is one of the things if you're out hitting the road, uh, running lots of miles or cycling, the last thing you want is something that's going to weigh on your face, you know, digging the holes in the bridge of your nose or something uh, when you're traveling that's going to weigh a lot in your bag. And so I really like the fact that these are lightweight. In particular about the fit is that they are coated with a non-slip, kind of almost tacky sort of coating on them. And because of that, when you put them on, they don't slip. And I am somebody who sweats pretty heavily when I run. And even when I'm out just in hot weather, I sweat a lot and I really hate it when I have on a pair of glasses and the next thing you know, they're down here because they have fallen because of all the sweat on the bridge of my nose. And Gooder glasses really don't do that. Part of it is because they fit so well, uh, but also because of that uh, kind of tacky coating on them. They don't fall down the bridge of your nose. Have you ever worn a pair of sunglasses and you just get a headache because they squeeze really hard on your head or they are really heavy on your face. And I certainly don't experience that when I wear Gooders. And honestly, tomorrow I have to do a 20 mile run. These are the glasses that I'm gonna wear. Uh, and I feel very certain that they are not going to give me a headache, nor they're gonna be sitting down on the bridge of my nose by the end of my long sweaty run.
Lastly, one of the positives for me, and I don't know about you, but I always look for polarized lenses and lenses that are going to protect me from UVA and UVB radiation. And of course, the lenses in the Gooder glasses have that. Now, what about the cons of these glasses? Now, you heard me say that I had a pair, in fact, I had two pair that had a warped lens. And this is something that when you first glance at the glasses, you really couldn't tell that. But as I wore the glasses and I would look at certain angles, I did notice that there was a distortion of some of the things I was looking at consistently at one part of the lens. And since I had owned this particular style of glass glasses previously, I knew that that was not normal. And fortunately, um, Gooder took them back and sent me uh, another pair. The other thing that I had happen, um, and maybe this is because of the lightweight construction, is that I did have one pair where the frame got bent when I had them in an inside pocket of one of my travel bags in an overhead bin. And now when I know I'm gonna be packing these like that, uh, I put them in a hard case so that the pressure of the plane taking off and landing or other people throwing their bags on top of yours doesn't smash my glasses again. And again, Gooder was very good to replace those for me. Um, fortunately, because these meet all the needs that I have for a stylish look, as well as something that I can wear for my outside activities like running when I'm traveling, I only need to take one pair of glasses and I don't need to take two like I used to, which one was for sporty and one was for styles and for photographs. So now I just take one pair and I think I look pretty good in, in my photos um, that I take back from vacation. So overall, I love the look of my Gooder glasses. I love the functionality of them. Uh, for the uh, Bosley's Basset Hound Dreams, uh, I like the tortoise shell look of these. I think that they are not super dark on my skin. Uh, they blend well with my hair and generally they go well with the outfits that I'm going to wear. There's a lot of fun colors that are out there, different uh, bright pastels. There's so many different color lenses. I particularly don't care for a mirrored lens because I don't like the way um, the sun reflects on them when I'm running, but some people really love them. And if, like I said, if you wanna look at the Gooder brand, there are so many different styles and lens colors and frame colors that I'm sure you're gonna find something that you want for the price that you want. These glasses come with a cute little uh, microfiber bag that you can use to clean the lenses and to store them when you travel. Uh, besides getting just a regular hard case like I do for when I travel, they do come with a reasonable size box that you could, I suppose, just throw in your luggage as well if you're worried that they may get smashed. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. And I really hope that you like your Gooder glasses as much as I do, and that you get as much fun and wear out of them as I do. I will be sure to put a link to the Bosley's Basset Hound Dreams sunglasses in the notes below. And I hope that you may try them or at least find something that you like uh, at Gooder. So thanks again for joining us today and we'll see you next time.